Hey everyone, how is it going? Welcome to another video. It's been a while and I decided to finally make another video again. Today I want to do something that has already been done before, but I just wanted to do my own video on it and link it to some people I know. So basically I'm going to show you how you can clean your PSA slabs, um, or I would guess any other graded slab. I'm sure this works on CGC, BGS, etc. Uh, a lot of slabs, when you buy them online, so these are all bought online, They'll come with scratches, as you can see right here. Like this file from some pretty nasty scratches on the case. There's some minor ones on the side, and on the back it has like a big, a big scratch down here. You can see it, really see it in the light there. I hope it comes across in the video. Then uh, this Ivy Sore has a lot of like sort of minor scuffing. Like as you can see, I'm trying to show this best again. Like down here, very much up here, and in many cases they, you know. Slaps straight from PSA will look like this. I, have, I got a car graded recently and they, they finished the grading process and uploaded the picture to the population report. I looked at a picture on their website and in the picture already you can see scratches on the case. So <laughs> that one's going to be clean too. Uh, this is one I bought very, very cheap to uh, practice cracking if I want to crack a card one day. So this I'll practice on this card first. And uh, I actually already cleaned the front surface to practice uh, once, and uh, we're gonna do the back surface today. So this one has a lot of like, as you can see down here, a little bit like very, very minor, minor surface scratch. Nothing as extreme as to end up here as well. Nothing as extreme as the vile plume, just very sort of, you know, very minor micro surface scratches. So how do you clean cards? Well, here's the two things you need, or slabs, not cards. <laughs> Here are the two things you need. You need a microfiber cloth, your regular standard cheap microfiber cloth. And then you wanna use this. This is McGuire's Plastex. And this is meant to clean like, uh, you know, your, your headlights. Um, and I tried it once and it works fantastic. I saw it in other videos and everyone says it works really well. And I'm in Japan, I found this on Amazon Japan. So <laughs> if I can find it in Japan, I'm sure you can find it wherever you live. And yeah, this, this stuff works great uh, for slabs because it's meant for plastic. This is plastic, what else do you need to know? Anyways, let's get started. So we are going to start with the vial plume first. Now, again, these scratches are actually pretty deep. I'll put them in the light as you can see right there. They're pretty nasty and we will see how well we can clean those or remove those. I don't think we'll get them out completely. When I cleaned the Lapras, the Lapras only had like very, very minor scuffing, but these are pretty major, but it's a good experiment. We'll see what happens. So what you wanna do is you wanna shake it up a little bit and then you wanna put There you go, just like a line down the middle. It looks like a lot at first, but it will get absorbed fairly quickly. Now I'm trying to do this, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this in front of the camera. It's a little awkward, but you're just gonna go in like circle motion. So there was like one down here, and then the big ones were up here. So we're just gonna do uh, circle motions and you wanna apply like a, a good amount of pressure, but not nothing crazy. Like the amount of pressure you think would be enough so to speak it's a little hard to explain you don't want to be you don't want to break the slab obviously but you also don't want to just brush over it so you want to do a little bit of a little bit of pressure the bad the worst ones were up here so just going to do that all right so then once you've done that okay as so you've done that for a little bit you go to a clean side of the microfiber cloth and you just wipe it down now, sometimes the stuff gets a little bit stuck in like the, the cracks of the slab, like down here. Um, that's no big deal. You can just, you know, kind of get your fingernail in there or you can also take like a tissue, a paper, paper tissue and clean out the cracks. So let's see what it looks like now. So this is just just one, one attempt. And already, I mean, they were all right here. They were super visible when I had the super bright light right in the place there. And I can't see them anymore. I'm trying to look in person. Yep, they're, they're completely gone. The one down here was much harder to see, but it looks good too. But yeah, this is pretty shocking. Like this works really well. And I've never had to do two, like two tries, but people have said, if it doesn't work the first time, just do a second coat, just go again. Uh, this stuff leaves no residue, no smell, no taste. So let's try this. Uh, 
I don't know why I said taste. Yeah, this stuff leaves no residue, no smell, nothing. Uh, you know, it's all good. It all comes right off. Uh, so let's try this really nasty one. So remember what it looks like when I have the light right here. This is a big one. So let's see what happens. The front worked really well. So, all right, let's get some on again. And we're going to go to the same part we had before. We want to try and kind of, you know, not get the whole microfiber cloth wet so that we can always have like some clean surface to get it off. All right, this was maybe a little bit too much. I'm just going to do a circular motion where the, the scratch was. It might as well do the whole slab, even where the label is, because, you know, you might as well get all the little micro, micro scratches off. So this is good if you get, you know, scratched up slabs straight from PSA or you buy them, you want to clean them for your collection, or you want to sell slabs, you know, you want to present them nicely and, you know, the cards just look better in clean slabs. I mean, it goes without saying. All right, so this was quite a lot. And... <laughs> All right, there's still a lot left, but let's just see what happens if we wipe this off now. Yeah, so this was a little bit too much, I would think. But again, it's you can just wipe it off. It's not a big deal. Like, you're not destroying anything or damaging anything if you do too much. All right, so... All right, we go back. And it was, like, right here, if you remember correctly. So we put the light in the same spot. We'll try. And... It doesn't show in the light anymore. Still something here, or that might be on the card. So that's the other thing, by the way. When you clean your slabs, you will actually be able to see what scratches are on the slab and what scratches are on the card. Um, this one, I'm not sure. Could be the card. Although it is a nine, but uh, you know, PSA. <laughs> but yeah, look. I mean, I can't. I I can't see the big one anymore. I can see. Ever so slightly, there is like a one thin line left, but like the camera doesn't even pick it up. Like it's a million times better. And like in person, like just looking at it, it looks it looks fantastic. All right, so just clean it off. And there you go, that's one clean slab. I didn't do the label on this one. I think the label had some scuffing too, but either way, I mean, this is a million times better. All right, let's go on to the, oh, by the way, just as an example, the Lapras. It's a PSA 6 and uh, you know I never knew what scratches were on the case and what scratches were on the hollow but now that I've you know cleaned it I can see all the hollow scratches that this card has so it's very very uh, good to really see the cards inside. All right let's move on to this one. This one had like this sort of type of uh, you know sort of all across the back type of scuffing not super deep, but like really big marks, like pretty nasty. And, uh, you know, you can see it down here as well. Just get the light near, if you get the light too close, it disappears. But just look here where the te the, the font is. You can see those, those vertical lines, right? So, but I'm very confident that this is the type of scuffing we get off. And then the front has some too, some pretty deep ones actually, if you look up here where the light is, right? If we got the light underneath it or over it, you can see it really well, the deep ones. And got it like a little bit to the side, you can see those vertical lines going right down to the middle of the card. You know, pretty, pretty, pretty wild. And uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, and then, you, and then these as well down here. Now I can see, them, right, this stuff. There's some pretty deep ones as well. This is all on the slab, right, all of this stuff. So let's see if we can get it off. All right, I'll try and do a little bit less. So... We'll just do one line. I think the previous one I did two. So like just one should be good. I might switch to a new cloth soonish because this one's already kind of wet. So again, just do slight pressure, just a little bit. I hope the camera doesn't shake too much. Uh, we had some down here, we had some up here and just, you know, circular motions. And you kind of want to go until all the liquid has kind of disappeared, been absorbed into the cloth and you know, there's only a little bit left, and uh, if you get the right amount, then you, you can kind of tell when when it's good enough. All right, we'll just do again, circular motions, up and down, up and down, left to right, left to right, you know. Again, we had those pretty deep ones at the top, and we had vertical lines all the way down to the middle, and then the bottom right had some pretty nasty ones as well. All right. All right, so... 
Yeah, this one's getting a little bit dirty now, so we'll try and find a dry spot on the other side. And I'll just wipe it down. And, you know, a little bit of pressure again to just kind of, you know, get it all off. And let's have another look. All right. Trying to look through the camera and in person. So let's get the light again at the top where we saw those, right? Gone. There's still actually, you can see one up here, just above the card where I didn't really clean. So there's still one there. But the ones that were actually over the card, you can't see them anymore. Then we had those vertical lines that were visible when we had the light like here. They're gone. There's something a little bit here. It could be some residue. But then we go down here. Okay, we still have something here. All right, but you know, most of it is gone. So let's see if we can get this off. Maybe it just didn't hit that well enough. So I'm actually just gonna go switch back to the wet spot, the part that's still wet, and just go over it again, because it still has enough on it, I would think. Just get a bit more attention to this bottom part. All right. Just a little bit. You might have to apply a bit more, but we'll see. All right, we'll wipe it off. All right, let's have another look. We saw it down here. And I think it's still here a little bit, but as you can tell, I mean, it looks it looks better, definitely. I mean, you saw the before, and I'll do some, uh, I, I might try and do some before and after screenshots, just so you have the direct comparison, because sometimes it's a little bit difficult uh, to remember what it looked like before. But again, I think this is a good comparison. This up here is still here, right? The stuff that's on the, the label still there, whereas on the card, it's actually gone. All right, now let's do the back and then we're done. So again, here we can see this stuff here, right? This is not as deep, but it's just like, you know, very noticeable, especially in person, like in the right light in person, all you can see is the scratches and, you, you know, kind of really distracts from the card. So, but the main focus areas up here, there's a little bit of, oh yeah, actually, well, oh, this is a good angle. This is a really good angle. We'll try and remember this angle for the comparison. So you see at the top and then all the way down and it goes like all the way like down here as well, like all over the card. There, you can see it really well right here. Okay, let's get this off. So this was similar similar to the to the Lapras I had. Uh, had like very, like sort of a lot, but more like surface or like not as deep. And that was like really quite easy to get off. Okay. So I might have put on a little bit too much again. I'm actually going to switch to this side now just to be able to absorb it a little bit better because the other part is so wet. I'm going to spread it out a little bit and we're just going to go in our, again, circular motions. And yeah, it doesn't take a lot. It's just light pressure to go back and forth, up and down this was this is sort of along with the scratches right in line with the scratches a little bit more circular okay and i think that's actually already probably good enough again we will try and get that same angle to hopefully see the results really well okay let's clean it off with the clean side Let's go over it. Alrighty. Let's look. So the top part was noticeable in like pretty much all angles, right? And yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm looking through the camera right now and I'm also checking in person and I don't see anything. Um, I, okay, I see a couple minor lines, but a second go would clean those easily. So a little bit something here still, but for the most part, try and get the angle again that we had before, you know, it's hard to know now what the angle was without seeing the lines, right? But I mean, I can go back and forth, you know, uh, it was very easily visible before and now we can't see it anymore. So there you go. Um, that's basically it. I mean. I, I could do more. I think this is a good example. We had some minor lights, light scratches that we had some really deep ones as well on the front and then also here down here on the back. 
that really showed when we had the light right on top, right? Now it's they're bar barely noticeable anymore. And so yeah, this stuff, this stuff just works. Meguiar's plastics, the one that's meant for plastic. So great for headlights, great for graded slabs. And I'm sure this works for CGC, Beckett, all your graded slabs, it's really no different. So that's it, uh, try it out, give it a go. You'll be much happier with your cards looking all clean and you know, you can actually see the surface. So yeah, I would say go for it. There's really no downside to this. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.